Dan Wooten remain suspended. Um, it, it, things have settled down since then. And, uh, you know, being able to tout uh, a former PM as among their roster is certainly a more positive news that they'll be happy to have out. Mm. Uh, now, some news for you. Boris Johnson has joined the GB News channel as a presenter program maker and commentator. The channel says he'll present a new series showcasing the power of Britain around the world and specials in front of live audiences around the UK. Goodness me. Did you see this one coming? I'm not sure anyone saw this one coming, um, but I, but it's a good fit nevertheless. Mm. You know, I think it's been uh, quite um, welcomed, if you can say, as a, certainly a sensible move for, um, for, for <laughs> GB News. You know, people think it's a good get for them. Um... I'm sure he was very expensive. We don't know how expensive. Um, is this an attempt by GB News to restore some credibility? They had, you know, the, the, their, their presenters were dropping like dominoes a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, there was obviously a big fallout from the comments made by Lawrence Fox on the Dan Wooten show um, about the female journalist, which um, went down badly both internally and with the regulator. Um, that led to the departure of Lawrence Fox, um, it led to the departure of Calvin Robinson. Um, Dan Wooten remained suspended. Um, it, it, things have settled down since then. And, uh, you know, being able to tout uh, a former PM as among their roster is certainly a more positive news that they'll be happy to have out. Hmm. So he's a former PM. He's also a former journalist. Um, do you think he'll be any good at this? Well, was he good on Have I Got News For You? <laughs> you know, arguably, a man built his following. Yeah on television mm. by being a really good, entertaining, like him or not, broadcaster. Mm. And, you know, there's nothing to suggest that he won't be able to transport some of that charisma to um, to, a, to, a, to the news channel. Mm. Um, he has a, a column as well, and there are some people who would say that the column has perhaps not lived up to the hype. Um, some people would say that, others would not. Is there a danger here that this is all hype, and that ultimately the product might not be quite as exciting um, or perhaps as regular as as it's being made out to be. Yeah, I mean, I guess with Boris, there's always the Boris Johnson. There's always the um, there's always the question that you don't quite know what you're getting until you get it. You know, he's not necessarily known for his um, reliability. Um, you know, they're not holding him to a nightly show. It's not going to be a daily show. It's an occasional thing. Mm. He's going to be parachuted in as a pundit, as a talking head. Um, he is going to work on a series. We've been told. Um, he's going to travel the country um, doing shows in front of live audiences where one can imagine him um, doing doing quite well. So, look, you don't know what you're going to get with Johnson, but, you know, it's certainly going to grab some headlines. You know, whatever he says is going to, is going to create some column inches, one would imagine. Um, you're quite right in that perhaps some have suggested that um, the Daily Mail column is being phoned in a little bit. Um, but GB News will be hoping that his, um, his uh, on-screen personality mm. will shine through and, and grab it some headlines and some viewers. Yeah.